Hey everybody, this is Nakia. We're going to be preparing baked almond crusted chicken today, baked uh, acorn squash, and also garlic and lemon flavored spinach for dinner. Okay, so first we're gonna prepare the acorn squash. Um, we're using healthy fat um, olive oil. This is a healthy fat. Um, has no saturated fat in it. And I'm going to spray down the acorn. This is how I would normally do it. Um, we're gonna use some black pepper. I wanna try to keep the meal as low sodium as possible. Um, that's one of my goals when I'm preparing my meals is to keep the salt very low or none or keep it out you know all together as if possible um, most most things already have salt in them already and if they don't you are going to learn what the true flavor of the food is and your palate will get used to it um, the more you do it um, this is flavor god it's a new seasoning that I've just started using the reason why I purchased this is because the sodium is very low. It's only 2%. Um, that's 35 milligrams of um, salt for one fourth uh, teaspoon. And I doubt I'm even going to be using that much. So this particular flavor is garlic lovers. So I'm just going to put very little bit, just a little sprinkle probably not even that necessary if you don't have it because um, it's going to have a natural sweetness to it anyway. So sometimes when I'm preparing um, a vegetable that comes from the ground, I just throw it in the oven and I'll put a little olive oil on it and it usually always comes out really good. Okay, so I put the squash in the oven. Um, it's baking on 400 for about an hour. And now we're gonna start the chicken. I have two chicken breasts and I've cut both of them in half. I sprayed the pan down with olive oil. So we're gonna take the chicken breasts here. And I have Dijon mustard, which I'm gonna cover the chicken breast with. Also, I put red pepper flakes in the Dijon mustard just because I like spicy. Okay, so I'm just gonna cover this chicken with the Dijon mustard. The Dijon mustard has a very strong flavor, so you're probably not gonna add, need to add much more than after that. So I've got the Dijon mustard going here, and now I'm going to um, coat the chicken with the almonds. I'm probably going to end up adding more red pepper because I like it very spicy or a little bit more spicy than that. So when we put the chicken in the oven, um, we're going to cook it on 400 for four minutes on both sides first um, to get the almonds crusted. And then we're going to turn the heat down to about 350 and let it bake a little bit more for about another 30 minutes. Okay, so this is a really good deal. Um, this meal uh, ended up costing about $12 for everything and it's gonna make at least four servings. Um, I ended up using this entire can of almonds here. I crushed up the whole can because um, I used half of it originally and then um, ended up running out, so I had to crush up some more to be able to cover 
the next two um, pieces of chicken. I'm starting to get a little more used to doing this. So I'm getting my hands dirty. Everything's gonna be okay. All right. Okay, so next we're gonna be cooking the vegetables. I have the chicken in the oven. I have the acorn squash still cooking. Um, so I'm gonna get the spinach prepared. So I have a bowl of spinach that I bought from a bag, bag spinach, and olive oil. I chopped up some garlic over here. Um, you can chop up as much garlic as you like. Garlic is very healthy. And I'm going to um, just cook the garlic until it becomes fragrant and smells really good and you know the pan's nice and hot and then I'm gonna put in the spinach and sprinkle it with a little lemon just until uh, the spinach begins to wilt and once it's wilted it'll be all done okay so the pan has been preheating on medium I'm gonna spray it down with some olive oil Okay, so I had to turn the heat down. Medium was a bit high. Um, so I have it on low, low medium, medium low. Just turn the heat down a little bit. I let the car the garlic cook for a little while and um, it's browning. So now I'm going to just put the spinach over it and I'm just gonna just kind of let it wilt down and cook it slowly. Um, when it starts to wilt down a little bit, I'll put a little olive, uh, not olive oil, I'll put a little lemon juice over it, and then that should do it. 